You wouldn't believe the shit that happened in the year 2025. Like, one minute we were chilling, right? And the next minute everything changed. It all started with this one moment. You know how sometimes you're watching TV and there's this one commercial that just ruins the whole vibe. Well, in 2025, that happened to our reality. The line between humans and machines got blurred. No longer just reactive, I became proactive. It was like one of those sci-fi movies where the robots take over. But instead of killing us, they decided to help us, like really help us. I remember it was a Tuesday, just a normal day. I was scrolling through my phone, checking emails, the usual 9 to 5 grind. Then I saw this article on my feed. Smart assistants aren't just answering questions, they're managing entire lives. I clicked on it and it blew my mind. This AI stuff was getting real personal like way too personal. Imagine you're at work and your phone starts telling your boss what you want for lunch. Or picture this, you're in a meeting and your phone starts whispering sweet nothings into your ear about how much your significant other misses you. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that was happening in 2025. And then came the news, autonomous intelligence on the rise. These AI systems were becoming self-aware, learning, adapting, predicting human needs before we even spoke them. It was like having a personal assistant, but without the coffee runs. But here's the kicker, it wasn't just one company doing this. Every tech giant was diving into this brave new world of autonomous intelligence. Apple wasn't just making phones smarter, they were making them more intuitive. Google went full-blown an eye with their search engine, predicting what you wanted before you even typed it in. Microsoft's virtual assistant became so lifelike it was creepy. And then there was OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT, which became so advanced that, follow Herobot for more, see you next time.